noticed it, there would have certainly been a, a certain amount of nostalgia. Yeah. But actually, it didn't last as long as I thought it would. You know, I, 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 when you were working here every night or every second night, and then you go home to finishing work at seven o'clock, you think you're going to miss it. But you might miss it for a fortnight or three weeks, and that was it. I actually thought I'd miss it for longer, but I didn't. This premises, well, uh, my friend Fonzie Keane, who was the instigator of us buying the Gaiety, because we were afraid as film lovers that the cinema would close and we wouldn't have any cinema in Carrick and Shannon. So we got together with two other friends and uh, we bought it from Dr. O'Hanrahan from Inverscommon. He owned it. And uh, we took over in, in Easter Sunday. Uh, we reopened it Easter Sunday, uh, 72 and uh, enjoyed every minute while we were there because I was a real film buff. I grew up in the era when cinemas were being built actually. My hometown, the Lyric Cinema was built, the Roxy and Drumshambo was built, <coughs> excuse me, the Star in Bally, oh, the Star in Bally Condal was built at the time. So uh, we used to go as youngsters, young lads, we went down to Enniskill and different places as far away as Longford at Lone to films. So we were wrapped up in it. I loved every minute. I love films. Uh, I'm addicted to it, actually. And uh, we had to give up here when the time came because we were contemplating <coughs> putting in a duplex. Uh, but then we said, right, that's putting more work on us because we were four of us in business and uh, the t time would have been, was precious to us, actually. You know, and we, we, we had to do the, we ran the place individually, took one week in four. And uh, we said, look, let's, tr let's try, put it on the market and see what we were getting. If we're satisfied, why not? So we did that through, actually it was Bill Farrell, God rest him. His son is the chief executive of the banking uh, federation, uh, actually. So Bill negotiated for us and we, we bought it from, we bought the, we sold the cinema to Mr. Kelly, God rest him, in, in, in Boyle. So we, we had no regrets, we enjoyed it, and then we were glad to see that, that, that the fa Kelly family continued on running the cinema. And it was a great benefit to, to the town. And uh, we, 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 we enjoyed it, and we had good fun. And there was, I remember going once uh, up to Abbey Films or some of those companies that rented the films, and we're looking for the roadshow, the towering inferno. You may have seen it. So I went on my best suit and drove up into the company. I said, I'm from the Gaty Cinema. I would like to book the towering inferno. Which Gaty Cinema? Carrick and Shannon and County Leitrim. Oh, he says, uh, go back in 18 months to two years time. <laughs> I said, fair enough. So that was it. We had to wait. We got showing a towering inferno eventually anyway. <laughs> That's one of the amusing things.